in this video i will explain you about spherical mirror now we already have learned what is a plane mirror a plane mirror is having one end smooth and polished surface and another end is painted so we have one sur surface which is smooth and polished and other end is painted so what will happen light ray will come in one direction and that will make an angle with the normal that is the angle of incidence and after reflection a ray would go in this direction and the reflected ray would be making an angle of angle of reflection and we know here in this case angle of incidence would be equal to angle of reflection and incident ray incident ray and the normal normal and reflected ray reflected ray all lies in the same plane so this is the angle of sorry this is the loss of reflection so this was a plane mirror now i will explain about spherical mirror in the case of spherical mirror we are cutting a portion from a sphere so just assume a sphere and we are going to cut a small portion now we have both the end which is having the spherical dimensions or sp spherical nature see i mean assume this as a spherical globe on cutting at one end we have two parts one is in this way and another one is in this way okay okay so this end is a spherical this is a spherical mirror but this will only be a spherical mirror if we are having a reflecting side so how can we have a reflecting side just polish one end and paint other side so i am going to paint this side and inner side i have polished this is polished okay so one end this end i have painted and inner side i have polished here one end i have painted another end i have polished so this was a plane mirror so i can call this as a spherical mirror because this is a part of sphere now a sphere will have a radius right this is the radius of this sphere now the radius of the spherical mirror is defined as the radius of the actual sphere from where the mirror is cut off so this mirror is cut this mirror is cut from a sphere which was actually in this way and that was having a radius here so this would be the radius of this spherical mirror first point now second point is this part will have a center right so where it is symmetrical now this is symmet the whole thing is symmetrical at this point is it symmetrical at this point no so at, at above this point we have around 10 cm and below this point we have around 2 cm it's not symmetrical so exact center of this mirror is nothing but the pole of the mirror now the line connecting the center of the mirror and pole of the mirror is called as principal axis this is principal axis okay so this is the center center of the mirror and this is p is the pole of the mirror and the line passing through center of the mirror and the pole of the mirror is principal axis now here we have inner side smooth and polished and the outer side is painted or i can say that the inner side is reflecting surface reflecting surface always the smooth 
surface would be smooth and polished surface would be the reflecting surface now i can make one more mirror from this see instead of painting the outer side and polishing the inner side i can do the opposite where i am painting the inner side and polishing the outer side so what would be the change see it would be the same pole that is pole is nothing but center of the mirror just center of the reflecting part reflecting surface now center of the mirror is nothing but the center of the sphere which is from where the mirror is actually cut from okay so this mirror is being cut from a sphere which was having a shape in this way and this was the center of that sphere now this is the pole and this line connecting center of the mirror with the pole is nothing but the principal axis so this is an infinitely long axis okay here we have outer side this side as the reflecting surface so this is the reflecting surface here reflecting surface so here the inner side is the reflecting surface here the outer side is the reflecting surface this is called as concave mirror okay this is concave mirror and this is convex mirror this is convex mirror once again i'll repeat if the reflecting surface is inside inside of this sphere so this is the actual sphere right if it is inside then this is concave and if this reflecting surface is outside this is convex so this is convex mirror and this is concave mirror so in this video i have told you what is a spherical mirror it is being cut from a sphere now how we will get see the moment we are cutting the sphere we won't get a mirror we have to polish so we have two possibilities here either polishing inner side and painting out outer side and the next possibility is polishing outer side and painting inner side if you are polishing inner side and painting outside then that will become a concave mirror and if you are polishing outer side and painting in inside that will become a convex mirror now center is the same thing that is the center of the sphere from where this mirror is cut from okay next pole is nothing but just the center of the just take the geometrical center of the surface and that is of the reflecting surface that is the pole now principal axis is the line passing through center of the mirror and the pole that is the principal axis in both the case it can be defined now in the case of concave mirror inner side is the reflecting surface in the case of convex mirror outer side is the reflecting surface now one more thing that any ray which is coming parallel to the principal axis after reflection that would go through a point and that point is called as the focus see this is the focus now i will explain you this with the help of loss of reflection see this is an incoming ray now this is the surface okay where the incoming ray is being incident now this is the tangent to the surface and this is the normal to the surface this is the normal so this is angle of incidence and this is angle of reflection so all both angle of incidence and angle of reflection have to be same here so the light ray would go in this way next thing one more light ray which is parallel to principal axis would go and incident at this point and at this point the normal to the surface this is the surface normal to the surface is this make incident rays making an angle of i after reflection reflection uh, after reflection the reflected ray would make an angle of angle of reflection r this i should be equal to r and that would go in this direction so these two light ray would meet at this point and any light ray any light ray which is parallel any light ray which is parallel to principal axis would 
go after reflection through focal point this is the focal point so this is defined as the focus how the focus is defined after okay light rays parallel to principal axis after reflection that will that will pass through a common point and this point is called as focus in the case of convex mirror convex mirror what will happen light ray light rays will come would come in this direction would come in this direction from right okay so draw the normal here normal here normal here normal here and normal here so normal here would be in this way now with respect to normal the angle made by incident ray is angle made by incident ray is angle of incidence so reflected ray would be in this way making i is equal to r angle of incident and angle of reflection would be in this way i is equal to r okay so just draw the point so just extrapolate it okay just a second now this is the angle of incident and angle of reflection would be in this way with respect to no normal it would be see angle of incident angle of reflection here incident ray angle of incident angle of reflection see these light rays see incident ray after reflection it is going away from it incident ray after reflection it is going in this direction incident ray after reflection it is going in this direction it is going in this direction will this reflected ray intersect at any point no but actually that seems to be coming from one point see one one point extrapolate it just extrapolate it now you can see that these light ray seems to come from this point one two three and four so this is called as the focal point once again i, I would repeat see this is the convex mirror light ray parallel to the principal axis they would come in this way after reflection that would go in this way these two light ray will never intersect but they would seems to intersect at one point this is the focal point so these light ray for us that seems to be coming from one point these are not actual actually present this this point is not actually present this is a virtual point from where this light ray is seems to come from so this is called as the focal point so this is the center so i have explained to you what is center what is focal point and what is pole and the aperture is the surface this surface the inner surface is called as aperture the reflecting surface is called as aperture so i have explained to you what is aperture what is spherical mirror what is pole what is angle of incidence what is angle of reflection what is concave mirror what is convex mirror what is principal axis these are very important for the coming lectures okay thank you